inside your head, just your head alone, you have more synapses than there are stars in our galaxy. So you have the potential, and it's in there, to remember stuff like what we've been seeing that's happened years ago, even though you don't know how to access it. Because I could come up to you and go, Edith, two years ago, uh, two days, the Saturday after Thanksgiving, what did you eat for lunch? Yeah, probably left our, yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> But what's crazy is if we sat down long enough and started opening these doors, well, who were you hanging out with? What was the weather like? What do you think you were wearing? What'd you have for, we could actually get back to this place where she could almost remember what she had for lunch because it's somewhere in your head. Now, check this out. I normally don't do this, but I like you guys, uh, and this is why I don't get asked back sometimes, but I'm going to sing a little song, okay? <laughs> and as soon as I sing this little first part of the song, I immediately want you to sing the next line right back to me. Okay, you ready? Because I'm going to go in your head and I'm going to open up this door. The sad part is this door will probably be open in your head all day, all right? <laughs> so get ready. Here we go. <clears throat> so tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Uh, yeah. The moves are still in your head, right? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. You were like one of the Spice Girls right there. Yeah. <laughs> how many of you have ever gotten in a car and you turn the radio on and you hear that song and you sing all the words and you're like, oh, my gosh, how do I remember that? Yeah, because it's somewhere in your head. So the thing is, what takes place is for a four-year-old that's sitting, staring at the TV, their little brain cells are going like this. And they're sending information like that. Here's what your brain cells are doing. And man, they're doing it a thousand times, just super fast, even right now. I need that, put that over there, that's what I need. I need that, put that over there, that's what I need. And it's working so incredibly fast. Watch, check this out. I'll test your brain cells. This is crazy. When I say go, what I want you to do is I want you to look all around the room, OK? So when I say go, look all the way around the room. No talking. For everything that is the color black, go. Everything that is black. All right, stop. What are some things you saw right now that you hadn't seen when you walked in the room? Point out some stuff. Your cell phone. Cell phone. Shoes. shoes. What else? Name, name badge. Good. What else? The the, the oh, the holder right there. The Good. Bracelet, the bracelet. Oh, the crack in the ceiling right there. What else? Oh yeah, man, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> what else? The tripod back there. What else? The lettering. All right, here comes the test. Instead of looking for the color black, this time I want you to look for everything that's the color red. Go. All right, stop. Yes or no question. This is not a trick question in any way. When I asked you to look for the color black, did you see the color red? Yes or no? No. Really? Anybody say yes? I did. Yeah. How many say yes? How many say no? How many have no idea what we're doing right now? Yeah. <laughs> Just seeing who's like, yeah. Check this out. When I asked you to look for the color black, you looked all around the room. Every single color that's in this room came into your head. Red, orange, yellow, green, purple. Every single color of the rainbow came into your head. But your brain sent out a signal to a billion, billion brain cells instantly and said, we just want the color black. There's black. Put all that over there. I just want black. Ah, just black. Just black. Then when I said look for the color red, your brain sent out a signal to a billion, billion brain cells again. Said, hey, everybody, we just want the color red. Oh, not black, red. There it is. So the thing is, your brain knows how to separate that kind of stuff out. Now, for somebody that was high or smoking weed and they start to stare at something for a long period of time, What's happening is our brain's going back and functioning exactly like a four-year-old. So it's getting all this information, doesn't know what to do with it. So it slows the rest of the body down and starts sending out this information because it's trying to figure out how to process this. This is great. I could talk about the brain for like an hour and a half. Here's what is crazy. Kids that smoke weed or constantly have marijuana in their system, what takes place, let's say this room represented my brain, okay? And in this room, there's like 10 million doors. Every door has a label on it. This door says password. This door says directions. This door says recipes. This door says phone numbers. 
This door says uh, birthday, okay? So what happens, and the brain categorizes information, but it's lazy, but it categorizes it so it knows where to look for it and doesn't have to put a lot of effort into it. Information comes through that door, and the brain goes, hey, what are you? Phone number? Follow me. Phone number, phone number, okay? I'm going to put you behind phone number door. I'll get you later. What are you? Your girl's name? Cool. Come on, follow me. Girl's name, girl's name, right here. Girl's name, I'll get, I'll get you later. What are you? Whoa, you're a password? Oh, you look important. Follow me, password. And then puts it behind the password door. That's what the brain does. Now, when somebody smokes weed, instead of the brain greeting this information, THC on the back of these fat cells greet information, and it goes, dude, what are you? Your phone number? Follow me, phone number. Oh, man. Phone number door's way down there. So I'm going to put you right here behind birthday. <laughs> I'll get you later. Woo, what are you, a password? Follow me, password. Yeah, girl's name, that's good. Wow, what are you? You look important. George Washington information for a test? Follow me, George. Whoa, oh, man. I'm going to put you behind Alberto's burrito door. <laughs> I'll get you later, yeah. So then the kid goes to take a test, and it says George Washington did, and the kid thinks, I read that. I should know that. And he starts to concentrate, so the brain runs over to the George Washington door, cranks it open. What comes out? <laughs> Taquitos, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. 